Okay, so I just thought about this again, and uh, it's one of the downsides when you have so many tools available to you. So let's get rid of this draft. Um, I've done that sketch and that sketch. Let's go. Let's go back to the, like here. Yeah, let's go back to our sketch. Um, I don't know if you have the fillets in the sketch or in your extrude afterward, but I'm going to go ahead and do some um, sketch fillets. And we're going to put those here and here. 0.25. Here and here. Here and here. Here and here. Go to, um, stop sketch. So we have that extrude. We're going to turn our sketch back on. And we are going to create. Here's what we can do. So our first extrude, go extrude, E for extrude. We're going to start offset plane from here. One inch. Let's go minus one. Do that solid. So I'm doing an offset plane extrude, so that means that this, instead of doing it right on the profile plane, the sketch plane, I'm dropping it down uh, negative one inch, and then that's where the, um, the distance of my extrude is going to take place. So if I do that to one inch, it's going to go right back up to there. So I'm going to um, call this 0.5. Uh, let's do 0.25. This is just simulate the bottom piece. Uh, extrude. And now I can turn my sketch back on, and I can do a um, a loft. So with the loft, you choose two. Let's see here, I can choose that top surface, and then I can choose this inside surface. And then there you go. You've got your turn my sketch off, and that way it's perfect. That you get that no seam lines or anything. So I hope that helped. Maybe Loft is the um, magic solution.